Hi, so my name is Luke and I am one of the editors at Nature and my main job is to lead the team that ensures every week in the pages of Nature there are research papers in areas like physics, astronomy, electronics and robotics. You might improve your communication skills, improve your networking skills, I mean for sure you'd have improved your network. Uh, you might have improved your presentation skills and then you might even be slightly more tolerant of, uh, of the way that other people work. So aside from being able to do great science, collaborations allow you to develop you know, softer skills for yourself and hopefully you get to make some friends as well. My top tip for collaborating is to be flexible and friendly because collaborations are very rarely do they go the way that they were planned. And so you have to be uh, very accommodating, not just to what the goal is, but also to the other people that you're working with. Obviously, if you've never been in a collaboration before, then getting insights into how you can set them up, what the dynamics might be, how you can arrange the outputs, you know, obviously there's a clear benefit there. But even for the people that have been in collaborations, I still think that there are things that you can take. Um, you know, no two collaborations are the same. And you know, if you have courses that discuss all the different situations that can arise, then you could be better prepared for, for your next collaboration.